Here we go. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and welcome back to the 2019 episodes of the Thousand One series. We've taken a long break; it's been about a month, but we are back. And uh, what what game could we welcome the 2019s with better than Mario Kart DS? One of the best Mario Kart games arguably ever made. At least uh, at the time, it was considered perhaps the best Mario Kart. Um, ever made. It runs at a buttery 60 frames a second with smooth 3D visuals and all that jazz. It was hu a hugely well-regarded DS game for years, for years after it was released. And uh, between OutRun 2019 and Battle Wheels, we've been playing some racers that take place in the year 2019. So I figured let's keep the theme going and play an iconic, an iconic racing game to get the 1001 series back on its feet. Uh, for this year. So we're going back to the year 2005 to play Mario Kart DS. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop in here. Now this game features both single player and multiplayer features. It's the first Mario Kart game to have Wi-Fi capabilities so you can play against your friends on the internet, which is uh, pretty cool. That service is long since defunct. Um, it also featured bots for battle mode, which is cool. I don't know if that's in the single or multiplayer menus. Um, we will do a race or two, and then we will check out battle mode, because for anyone who's seen my other videos, I 100% love battle mode of Mario Kart. It's probably my more favorite mode than uh, racing itself. So, uh, into the single player we go. Is the nickname Yop Yop correct? Uh, let's go with it. We're Yop Yop today. Why the heck not? During races, Yop Yop will appear on the screen. Is that okay? Um, I don't need to see it all the time. Uh, we can we can just be known as Yop Yop, or I guess they want uh, want a different name. How about we be we'll be J Yop in, in honor of Yop Yop. Uh, sure, J Yop will appear on the screen. Nickname registered. Create a custom eb emblem. No, we don't need a custom emblem. Uh, can we just actually race? What's going on here? All right, here we go. Grand Prix Time Trials versus Battle Mode and Missions. Uh, let's, uh, let's do a Grand Prix, right? Why not? Time Trials is basically just racing the tracks, trying to get the best time, and versus you race against a ghost. Uh, so somebody else who's raced the track, um, will have, like, the best time or whatever, and then you race against them, trying to do better than they did. Um, uh, but we're gonna go in the Grand Prix. Um, uh, 50, let's do 100 CCs. So this is sort of, like, easy, medium, and hard. I'm, again, for anyone who's watched my videos, you guys know I'm not great at Mario Kart. It's, uh, I, I didn't have Mario Kart on the Super Nintendo, and I was really more into PC games uh, than consoles by the time the N64 rolled around, so I never had an N64. So I'm not great at Mario Kart, but I think I can hold my own, so we're going to give 100 CCs a shot. Obviously, we could be Mario, the uh, title character. We could be good old Luigi, Peach, Yoshi, or sorry, that's not Yoshi, that's Toad. I always liked Yoshi myself in the Super Nintendo Mario Kart when I did play it. Donkey Kong, Wario, and Bowser are kind of like the expert carts. Like, you have to be really good. They're slow to accelerate, but I think have the highest top speed. I think today, though, we should just go with the namesake of the game, and let's be Mario in Mario Kart. It doesn't get more Mario than being Mario in Mario Kart. And here are all the options. Oh, God, we have we could be a dasher. We could be a standard or a dasher. Okay, we only have two options, so it's actually not that big a decision. Which one has the higher top speed? I feel like that's the one I want. It's standard. All right, we're going with standard. Makes sense. Cart two of two. Okay, so here are the different carts. We can do the mushroom cup, the flower cup, or the retro Grand Prix. Oh, my God, these are Super Nintendo tracks. Oh, we might have to try two Grand Prix, actually. I totally want to do this one, because uh, this one, I think it's a mishmash of tracks from previous Mario Karts. It might be a combination of Super Nintendo and N64. Don't quote me on that. Again, my my Nintendo Mario Kart knowledge is not super up to date. Oh my god, that one looks cool, too. Okay, let, let's, uh, let's start with... Desert Hills, what is this? Waluigi, Waluigi Pinball, that looks cool. Or Yoshi's Falls, Cheap Cheap Beach. Oh my god, I want to do them all. Let's just do the, the Mushroom Cup and then we'll see what happens after that. I guess maybe I'll do at least one Retro Cup. If these are really short, maybe I'll do them all. I don't think they'll be short enough for us to do that. 
But uh, this game, so it has dual screens because it was released on the Nintendo DS. But uh, interestingly, the the second screen is not what you would consider a, a gimmick. Um, let me just figure out the controls here. Okay, that's hop. Gotcha. And let's get an item here. You can also uh, drift behind other players, which is handy. Oh my god. Okay, how do I use the item? There we go. Let's kill Bowser! Or Donkey Kong! Yes! Oh, so satisfying. Um, but yes, the, the dual screen was not so much a gimmick in this, uh, in this game as some of the other Nintendo DS games. Um, and as you can see, you get this, like, handy, like, little overhead, uh, map. There we go, we just drifted behind Wario. Thanks for the boost, loser! Oh my god, we're second? We're owning. Oh, and with this mushroom, maybe we can catch up to first. Almost. I think it's, like, Toad in first place, that little punk. Um, but yeah, you get, like, this overhead map. There is a way to switch the map. Uh, maybe I can figure it out here. Oh my god! Oh, you jerk! I even saw that coming! Oh, well, we'll use the red shell to uh, take out Wario there. Oh, that's cool. You could, like, see the red shell on the radar, and you could, like, watch it catch up to Wario and stuff. Very neat. Oh, come on. We need the drift. We need the drift. Hold on. You can hold... Yeah. So this is the defensive move. Hold the banana behind you, and that way if somebody tries to throw a red shell at you, we'll just hit the banana. I always remember my friends who were pros doing this. Um, let's see if we can mess with the overhead view. How could we do that, do you think? Oh, there we go. Boom. So if you want to see, like, where everyone is. Oh, I got shrunk. That's okay. Everyone got shrunk. The items in Mario Kart, by the way, uh, have always been my favorite part of Mario Kart. So racing games, they're okay. Um, some racing games can be really fun. I really like, like, the Burnout series. Uh, and I think it's because it's half Destruction Derby. Um, boom. That bomb seems really hard to hit anyone with. Oh, my God. But, uh, yeah, I feel like uh, I've always liked the Destruction Derby aspect to um, to the Burnout series. Mario Kart is obviously more cartoony, um, but it has its own uh, its its own sort of uh, charm. And especially, I think the items really make the game. Oh, come on, we're so close. Did we pass Toad? Oh, we got first place! Oh, my God, that's awesome. Happy New Year's, everybody. Welcome to the year 2019. This is a good sign for our 1001 series. We're starting off on a win. J-Yop dem demolishes Toad, Yoshi, Wario, Luigi, Donkey Kong, Bowser, and Peach leaves the crowd stunned with his last-minute victory. Imagine that happened in a real race. Like, one player, like it was like a NASCAR race, and someone was about to win, and someone else like threw something at them. And it, like, wiped out the other car, and then the other car won. Right? Like, that's the, the joy of Mario Kart. It's like the items make the match. Boom! We got a, a fast start, too. Oh, you jerk! He was trying to run me off the road. Oh, we got three boosts. Don't mind if I do! Out of my way, Toad! Oh, my God. We have a, a first place positioning already. We also have the, uh, the like, camo, camo box. Oh, uh, you jerk. Can I throw it forward? Oh, I totally can. Totally missed him, though. So Toad is obviously going to be my nemesis in this track. I can already tell. That jerk. We're going to go down here. Oh, man. Let's just dump all the bananas. Uh, you know what? Every time we get to, like, an I uh, a patch of items, whatever I've got, even if it's handy, I want to dump it just for the chance of getting something cool in the items. And I don't even know what I'm looking for. Um, so in this game, this game actually introduced, by the way, the Bullet Bill. So the Bullet Bill is an item you can get. You probably know it from other Mario Karts. Oh, there, we dropped a, we dropped a decoy, uh, a, a decoy, um, mystery box there. I tried to drop it right when I picked up another one, so it would confuse an AI. Um, obviously it wouldn't confuse the AI, but, uh, if it was a human, maybe we could confuse the human if we were playing against other people. But anyway, the Bullet Bill is a power-up that if you're doing very bad in this game, you have a chance of getting. So if you're, like, last place, you can get. And, oh my god, we just got first place again. We're crushing it. We're crushing it. Um, I like how you get points here, so it's like your, your um, lead accumulates. So if we got second place in a race next, and Toad got first place, we would still be beating him, actually, because we had two first places. So you can build up, like, a nice lead in points. Cheap Cheap Beach. This is actually why I wanted to race this... Uh, this uh, Grand Prix uh, set of tracks is because the beach uh, looks cool. And I always like the beach level in the Super Nintendo Mario Kart. But um, yeah, the Bullet Bill was like a new item. And I think it's a great... Oh, damn it. We got a slow start. It's okay. We got work to do. Um, the, the 
Uh, the items in Mario Kart are just so well balanced. Like, you know, if you are doing really bad, yeah, it makes sense. Give the player, like, better items. Um, and the bullet bill, like, gives people the opportunity to, you know, like, catch up. It makes the game more competitive, I think. Um, because, you know, there's, there's, there's nothing less fun than sitting down to play a video game with your friends and them just crushing you, right? So I think Nintendo totally had the right idea here, where if you were not doing so well, they're like, gonna give you a little boost. They're gonna give you, you know, not like an insta-win button, not like the blue shell, which is also in this game, by the way, which is, I, I think the blue shell is more unfair than uh, the bullet bill, obviously. But uh, yeah, the, the idea of, like, let's just give the, the last place players a little boost because they're not doing so good. I think that is, that is a, a, good, um, a good attitude because it keeps games competitive. This, the worst is when you're playing against a friend and they're just totally crushing you and there's nothing you can do. Um, which was my, I think my experience every time I ever sat down to play a Mario Kart or like a Smash Brothers uh, ever, because I didn't own those games. So, so you know, um, I, I'm not I'm not super, super into fighting games, which is why like I'm never, uh, I, I never really play Smash Brothers. But the bigger reason is just like, I was a PC gamer back in the day, you know, like by the time everyone's getting N64s, I was sort of, um, at the stage where, oh god, that green shell! Oh my god! Oh, it actually hit him! Oh my god! Oh, I thought that was the last lap. If we'd gotten first on that, that would have been an amazing way to finish. Man, I'm doing so good here. But yeah, like, I was a PC gamer. I played Quake and StarCraft around the same time everyone got their N64. So, like, people are playing, like, Goldeneye and stuff, and they'd be like, oh man, it's so cool! And they'd invite me over, and I was sort of like, what's the deal? Like, this is, you know, I, I can log online and play Quake 2 whenever I want, uh, you know, with, like, a mouse and keyboard. Like, way better first-person shooter controls. So, like, personally, like, uh, you know, Goldeneye never did too much for me because of what else I was playing at the time. Um, and then, you know, like, fighting games, they were just not my super my thing. I was, you know, I was really into real-time strategy. So, like, I'd be at home playing StarCraft and stuff, and that banana got me, and it's because of... Um, the octopus. But we still won, so I'll take it. So yeah, as a result, like, there's just, like, gaming blind spot for me where, you know, I'm not that good at Mario Kart or Smash Brothers. And so you go over to someone's house sometimes, and, like, um, every time I went over to someone's house and they owned Mario Kart, it was like, I would just get schooled, man. I'd just get schooled. Um, Battle Mode I had more of a shot in. I think battle mode's like more of the great, great equalizer because it doesn't matter how good of a racer you are. It's more about strategy and tactics, and I'm, I was a bit better there. But in terms of like the finesse of like, can I press the button at the right time to get a fast start and all that stuff? It's like I just wasn't practiced enough to pull it off consistently, and so um, you know, people who own this game were, and, and they would beat me, and that's fine. But um, I think Nintendo had the right idea in terms of let's try and balance items so that people who are better will get less of a, an advantage and people who are worse will get more of an advantage to try to like narrow the skill gap um, because games are just more fun when they're competitive. Games just are more fun when they're competitive. So like if you have some friends and, and there's some game that you guys play together, whatever game it, it is, you know, whether it's Smash Brothers, whether it's a real-time strategy game, whatever it happens to be, if you guys can consistently have close matches with one another, you're lucky, you know, because having having friends who are at about the same skill level of you at any video game creates an awesome situation where you guys can have a lot of fun together. Um, and yeah. Oh my God, those were my shells too. All right, we passed Wario. Time to send the red shell at Toad. All right, Toad. Oh, and I did wipe him out too, yes. Did we, oh, wait, why are we only in second? Oh no, we're in first, there we go. I guess it just took a while for the first place moniker to catch up with us. We're so fast, the game can't even place us properly because we're just constantly in first. Oh, look at those trees that are just walking around. That's creepy. So this is obviously the uh, Luigi's Mansion level. It's cool how every single, not every single, but a lot of the, uh, oh god, I'm sliding all over the place, no! Oh, the blue shell makes a rare appearance and it crushes me. Oh, well, I was due for that. Alright, we have one lap left to catch up. Um, but it's cool how all the Mario Kart tracks are sort of like homages to different Mario games. Um, that's another thing that I think Nintendo does really well. 
is they integrate games across their series, their different series, um, just really effectively, you know? Like, Mario Party always has tons of, like, uh, throwbacks and stuff to other Mario games that have existed. Oh, he got lightninged and bombed. And somehow he's still almost beating me. It's ridiculous. Um, oh, and he got blue shelled, yes! Okay, blue shell justice right there, man. That's karma for ya. The blue shell giveth and the blue shell taketh away. Oh my god, this walking tree's right in my way, you son of a bitch! Okay, come on, we're so close. We're so close to winning. I just want to win, I can taste it in my mouth. Yes, drop the banana shell and we won. I guess I could check my radar to see if anyone's nearby. I'm just not used to doing that. Boom! First place on every single track. Even if Toad had come in first in this, and I had come in like fourth, I think I still would have beat him just due to the sheer uh, lead I had in points. It was a 10 point victory for me. Let's go to next. Let's see what happens. Yes! Eat it, Toad! Eat my dust! How did Wario place? I think that was just pure rage. Like, Wario's just like, I gotta beat Mario! And he just, you know, the rage in his heart drove him forward. And they're zigzagging in front of me. They're showcasing, show, showcasing the main star here, which is Mario. Mario always wins at Mario games. Boom, we crushed the mushroom cup. All right, let's uh, let's try another another track here. Grand Prix. We'll do 100 CCs. Let's uh, let's mix it up here. Okay, we just played as Mario. Uh, let's try Yoshi. Why not? Because Yoshi can race in an egg or a cart. Uh, where does he have the fastest speed? He's faster in the egg, actually, and he's better acceleration and handling. But items, I don't know what items being so low means. Does that mean he does not get good items? I don't know, we'll give it a shot. Uh, let's go ahead and try one of these retro cups, the shell cup, because why, why the heck not? Super Nintendo Mario Circuit 1. Oh, that's so awesome that they included this. See, this is what I mean. Like, not only did we have a Luigi's Mansion level, and so, like, in, in most Nintendo games, sometimes there's, like, a throwback to, uh, you know, previous uh, games, like, like having a Luigi's Mansion level in Mario Kart. But then, like, we literally have a Super Nintendo level. Uh, and we even have the Super Nintendo music. That's awesome. I still remember the Super Nintendo Mario Kart commercials. I remember, like, watching them. They would, like, come on when I watched, like, American Gladiators on the weekend, like, with my dad. Um, and I think even the, the Powerball in, in the old American Gladiators was sponsored by Super Nintendo one year. Like, the year Super Nintendo came out, I kind of vaguely remember there being, like, Powerball is sp sponsored by the Super Nintendo. Now you're playing with power. Super power. And that was just awesome. Oh, man. I can't hit anything with those bombs. Whoa, what happened to Bowser? He just got taken out. He just he just gave up on life apparently. Okay, come on, we gotta we gotta drift here. Give me the drift boost. You stinking gorilla! There we go. Yes. The drift boost is like the one thing that I kind of consistently know how to do. Okay, we'll hold the shell here to protect us. As long as we don't mess up, I think we got this. Oh! Who tried to hit me with a shell? Damn good thing I had that thing hanging out. Yeah, there we go. Yoshi was literally racing an egg, a, a motor-powered egg of some kind, and he did quite well with it. Now we have Moo Moo Farm on the N64. Again, now we're getting into the Mario Kart I don't know so well, but that's okay. Um, part of this 1001 quest is to try these new games that I uh, did not try so much when I was growing up. And uh, hence Mario Kart DS. Hence Mario Kart DS, Wee! Got the, the three shells. Or the three uh, mushrooms. Oh, God, look at those shells. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think a shell took out a shell. That is dangerous. It actually is very fun in the battle mode or even in the racing tracks when there's tons of green shell shells ping-ponging all over the place. It it, it totally uh, makes, makes the game more fun. See, this is what I mean where, like, you know, um, even if you're... Whether you're into racing games or not... Mario Kart definitely puts a fun spin on things because it's it's only half about the racing. The other half is just about like crazy items. And like this is this is precisely the kind of racing in that I enjoyed as a kid. Oh shoot, I should have shot my shell. If I'd shot it a second earlier. 
could have hit Donkey Kong there. I also always found it interesting how, um, you know, every time you race in this game, there's like a different set of opponents. Like in the first race there, Wario and Toad were kind of like my main adversaries. But now for some reason, Donkey Kong's doing really well. Donkey Kong and Bowser, for some, for some reason, got it going on. In the last, you know, uh, cup that we did, I don't think Donkey Kong and Bowser were doing that good at all. It's kind of funny how, like, it just, uh, the computer just randomly picks two racers, and it's like, these guys are just suddenly going to do well now. Um, they're just, they're just going to have it, they're just going to have their, their stuff together today for some reason. I don't know why they did so terrible last time, but, um, anyway. I can see Donkey Kong is trying to sneak up on me, but it's not going to happen, buddy! Yeah! <laughs> you know what the biggest insult would be if you're first place and you caught up to the eighth place guy, like Toad? Then we use the red shell on him. Because the red shell just hits the next person in front of you. So if we were about to lap Toad or Luigi or whoever was in last place, and before we lapped them, we threw a red shell at them, that would be the ultimate insult. Because it's just like, why? I'm no threat to you. I'm literally in last place and you're in first. Why would you do this? My The reason I had the red shell there, by the way, was I was uh, holding on to it as like an insurance policy. If... Uh, Donkey Kong or Bowser caught up to me, basically my plan was to instantly hit them with the red shell. Um, so it was kind of, you know, like, pass me at your own peril, man. Pass me at your own peril. Oh, God, that green shell. The green shells add so much of a wild card to this game. I love it. I love it. Oh, Donkey Kong, past you, bro. Past you, brosif. So this game does have the two the two screens going on, but like to be totally honest, I'm not looking at the bottom screen all that much. I find that if I do, I'll probably screw up in terms of I'll like veer off the track or something like that. So it is cool that they're giving you that radar, but I can't imagine that it's like that useful. Oh, I thought that was gonna hit him, but he was holding a banana shell. He knows what's up. Oh no, oh no, Donkey Kong. Okay, I, I can red shell these guys. Boom, boom, yes! Oh man, Donkey Kong red shelled. Oh no, it's the worst time! Donkey Kong red shelled Bowser, then I red shelled Donkey Kong, and then I got hit with the blue shell. That's the worst, man. It's the worst when like somebody who's been in front of you the whole game, and you finally pass them, and then you instantly get blue shelled. Oh god. Oh my god. Ah, damn it. Oh no, Donkey Kong, we're both down! Jesus, how many blue shells exist out there? Good thing I have better acceleration. Oh my god. Can I... Oh, he's got a the thing too. Oh, but he hit the thing! Yes! Come on, bump into me. Bump behind me. No! Ah! No! Donkey Kong! Oh, you jerk! I was drifting behind him. So close. So close. Alright, so now we're only two points apart. So basically... Oh, we could actually tie here. If I... If I come in, you know, if we're, we're if he's one spot ahead of me in terms of placing, then we will tie. Interesting. I don't know what that does. Hmm. Okay. Three, two, one. Go shoot! I was not holding the thing. I need uh, I need Lakitu. I know that it's like when his uh, cause he he his hand counts down like one, two, three, and in the middle of him like counting down two is when you're supposed to like hold the acceleration down so that you can uh, get the get the boost. But, uh, you know, oh, didn't mean to do that. Oh, well, whatever. All right, come on, Bowser. I'm gonna drift behind you. Ugh, jerk. Okay, this is, I, I did not catch what system this is from, but based on the music, I wanna say this is like GameCube. Like, I don't know if I'm right or wrong on that. It could be, it could be either. I could be either right or wrong, which is something that's true in all situations of my life. Okay, let's go with this. Oh, yeah! Oh, we hit him with the shell, too! Oh, man, and that guy almost ate us. All right, we're doing pretty good here. Okay, I think if I if I successfully beat this, we'll do one more Grand Grand... Oh, you bastard. <laughs> we'll do one more Grand Prix track, I think. Um, I know one thing you can do to avoid being punished by that blue shell is you can basically just sort of keep somebody like right behind you and if you see the blue shell coming you just decelerate like mad and you just hope that it hits uh hits them instead 
Okay, so we're doing okay here. We are oh man. Okay. Nobody's behind us, I like that. Oh, that guy's trying to eat us, the giant chomp chomp. Okay, I don't know if it's faster to hit these boosts or not, but I like hitting them. That's what we'll do. And we have not seen the bullet at all because I've been racing too well. I guess if I start to go down in places, uh, or maybe the next, maybe in the next one, I should like totally throw the first match just so we can see some cool items, and then the the game will be me trying to uh, trying to like catch up so we can like see the better items. Oh man, I don't know where the other guys were, but they, they weren't even near me. They were like seconds behind me. All right, we crushed it again. Not a perfect score. It's no 40, but I will take it. Yoshi dominates. So both Mario and Yoshi are kings. And there we go. And off they go and doing their uh, their fancy racing stuff to like impress whomever's in the, the audience. All right, we won a golden shelled trophy. And then that's how you do it, guys. All right, let's try one more. We'll go with Grand Prix. We'll go with 150 cc's. And we're gonna go with something totally different. We could go with Peach, Bowser. Let's go with, let's go with Bowser. Let's be the bad guy. Cause it, it will probably lose and uh, we'll feel okay if we lose. So I'm willing to take the one that has less top speed cause that has a bit more acceleration. Why not? And here's what we will do. Bowser, okay, do we, let's do the new tracks. The retro tracks are cool, don't get me wrong, but we're here to see everything Mario Kart DS has to offer. So let's see like some of the new tracks that were made for Mario Kart DS. Oh, and there's the evil sun from Mario 3, I love it. See, they're integrating like little, little throwbacks, little nods to previous Mario games, it's great. So here's how this is gonna go. <laughs> I intentionally didn't accelerate there, I didn't get distracted. This is either gonna be the ultimate comeback story or the most pathetic match you've ever seen. Oh man, and Bowser does not handle well, let me tell you. He doesn't turn very well. Oh, I wanted to superstar those guys. Oh God, Bowser. Okay, I, w I just want the bullet bill. Can we see the bullet bill item? I told people about the bullet bill. Oh, we got the super mushroom. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Oh, we like super mushroomed ourselves off of the track. All right, so I'm having no trouble keeping ourselves in last place to get access to the good items. <laughs> oh my god, I drove between those two power-ups. Bowser, you suck. Oh, what is the sun doing? Oh, the sun got angry. Oh my god, jumping fireballs. This is totally like a Mario 3 level. Oh, you threw between the things again. You suck, Bowser. Bowser, you're the worst. You're an embarrassment to all Koopas. I think I'm last by a lot, guys. Like, I'm not last by a little. I'm, I'm like, noticeably in last place. Come on. Yes, the bullet! There we go! Boom! So this is the, the sort of pick-me-up item that uh, helps helps poor players like me. Oh, we can actually see other, other players now. We might not finish dead last. Although we still might- Oh my god! Flew between the things again. I didn't even know that was possible. I thought they were so close that you couldn't go between them. But uh, I guess Bowser can. He found a way to suck even worse than I ever thought possible. All right, can we please have one item? All right, we got three mushrooms. Let's use them wisely. Okay, here we go. Boom. No, Bowser! <laughs> uh, let's pretend I'm doing this intentionally to... Uh... Look, I want to see the bullet bill again. Uh, I forgot, that's why I suck. All right, Bowser's not having a good day. <laughs> oh man, Mario crushed it though. Mario did great. We did not do so great. All right, let's uh, do the next track here. Oh yeah, these like little hula people. They're in like more modern Mario games, but they were never a thing when I was a kid. Like that giant statue that was in the, the middle of town or whatever. Boom, fast start. Sometimes we can do it, I guess. Um, also, Bowser being big, I think he can just bump into other players and like knock them, knock them off. Okay, they, all the other uh, opponents are doing this like slide. I don't know how to do it. I thought you just do like a hop before you turn, but that doesn't seem to do it. Oh, there was a turn there. Oh, we just crushed someone up against the wall. I think it was Princess Peach. 
But she can eat it. Bowser's, she's lucky she's not in a sack somewhere uh, in like Bowser's hotel room because he kidnapped her and he's holding her ransom. Uh, this is like one of the few games where Bowser like put puts his obsessive desire to kidnap Princess Peach aside and instead just decides to race. He's like, all right, for once I'm not gonna kidnap your girlfriend. Oh, I wanted to run him over so bad. So bad. Uh, we're seventh. Damn it. Even getting good items is hard to place as Bowser. So there's there's a statue of the dude right there. And there's... See them in, in like the audience, the like yellow guys? Those are like guys from like Mario Sunshine or something like that. Or some of the Mario parties. I, I don't even know what race of people they were. Like when I was a kid, the race of people that Mario knew were toads. Toads were the things that Mario dealt with. Boom! Oh, got a bomb. Oh my god, Bowser, you suck. Oh my god, and now we're eighth. Oh my god. Oh, we got a mushroom, though. That's something. Give us something good. Superstar? I'll take it. Let's do it. Oh, he has a superstar, too. No fair, man. No fair. Oh my god. So, if we're lucky, if we're really lucky, we're gonna get, like, fifth. But I don't think we're that lucky. So did you have, did you guys have friends growing up who were like super good at Mario Kart or like owned Smash Brothers and just, you know, could not be beat, things like that. Again, I think if you have friends and you guys are, are about equal, oh my God, caught in the corner, about equal at any video game and you guys can like play consistently and have very close matches, very competitive and close matches, I think that is awesome and I, you know, um, I'm not jealous, but... I applaud you. Um, I think for, for many of my friends, it's like we all have our specialties, you know? I have a couple of friends who are like really, really good at Smash Brothers. And as I said, you know, it's sort of not 100% my thing. Um, but I know that uh, times where I've tried to play with them, um, what has happened is I think there's an option in one of the newer Smash Brothers where you can like set a handicap. So like every time a player loses, oh, this track looks awesome, by the way. Um, every time a player loses, they get more strong in like the next match or something like that. Or if it isn't an official option, I think we played that way, where whoever lost... Oh, we spun out. Whoever lost the previous match would get to turn their handicap up in the next match. And you think that would favor me, you know? You think that eventually what would happen is everyone would find the sweet spot of being handicapped enough that we could all compete with one another. But A, my friends were so good that my handicap didn't seem to matter. Didn't really seem to make me that much more of a threat to them. Um, it made me lose slower, but I still lost. And the other thing too is that um, because they knew this handicap rule was in effect, if one of them started to like not do so well, sometimes they would just throw the whole match so that they could be handicapped in the next match. So it's like I would technically not lose, but it felt like a very hollow victory, so. Um, it, it's hard to, yeah, like, it's hard to even come up with handicap systems to try to balance things out, because then people will start abusing them, and, uh, yeah. It's, oh my god. Oh, he said, what? The ghost stole my thing! I didn't even know that was possible. You jerk. I finally get a cool power-up. I'm finally not last. Oh, how am I last again? Makes no sense. But this track is awesome. Waluigi Pinball. Is that what La Waluigi does? He's into pinball? I don't know. You know what's funny is like, what the, what the hell does Waluigi do? Wario's trying to steal Mario's castle and all his coins. I remember that from Wario Land. But Waluigi is just like a thing that shows up to race sometimes. Like I'm not even convinced he's like a human. He's so contorted and odd looking. He's just a thing that races. He seems, he, he seemingly has no other purpose in existence. Um, I guess he parties too, cause he's in Mario Party. So he races and he parties. Let's just spam the, the Mega Mushroom here. Didn't help us at all. Mostly because we were grinding the rails the whole time we were using it. Oh my god, ping-ponging! Oh god. Okay. Alright, Waluigi, I guess he's into gambling and, and pinball. We're in our last match. We have consistently got, like, last place every single track. I can't believe it. I, you know what? I guess I want to ascribe it partially to the 150 cc's, but I will be honest with you, Bowser controls like garbage. 
Um, again, I I'm sure a good player could actually do this, but for a novice like me, oh god, Bowser's the worst. I hate him. <laughs> Why did I pick this guy? Um, this is a totally non-competitive match. Oh, we got the bullet one more time. Oh, that's why I picked them, to see items, of course. If we weren't losing this badly, we would never have the joy of seeing all these terrific, amazing items. Oh! Oh, God. Oh, God! Enough is enough! Let Just let him die. Stop. He's already dead. Oh, God. He is going for... He was going for gold. Last place three times in a row. Yikes. This is like the worst I've ever done a Mario Kart, I think. Even when I was a kid. Even when I was a kid, I don't think I did this bad. What did I get? Four points for the entire race? Consistently last? No, I only have one point. So I only placed once. <laughs> Eighth place gets you zero. I have one point. That's sad. All right. Uh, you, you have the option of replaying this course if you'd like, but... Oh, there's one more? Okay. Why not? Bowser is not a quitter, man. All right, here we go. Fast start. Okay, not a not a spin out. That's that's good enough. And man, how do you do those? How do you do those things? I want to like figure it out. Oh, okay. We'll use our item. He's like, yes, I'm the best. I'm invincible. I can almost catch up to you. Hey, there's Princess Peach. That, oh, I thought that was a trap. I was like, well, we're, it's happening. We're, we're hitting one of the trap icons. Uh, let's boost past these guys. This, this is bold to be racing on like a road with real cars. Oh, you, why? Oh, he has a star too. Oh, he starred in real car. My God. And this is like such a precarious highway. I would not feel safe if I was in a real car driving this highway. There's like a ridge to your right. If you, if you veer a little to the right, you just fall off a giant precipice. Off a cliff, man. That is insane. This is like the 101 highway up California or whatever. Okay, here we go. Yes, oh, we started a bus. Oh, God, we can't turn. He still handles like crap, even when he's invincible. I wonder if you could like dr uh, draft off of the bus to get like a speed boost. Probably not. Oh, God, into the grass. <laughs> hey, we're sixth. How did that happen? Oh, we're seventh. Oh, well, whatever. It's not last. Oh, Donkey Kong. Oh, oh, but I invincible through the star. Damn it. Ah, oh, just when we had a stroke of luck. So I think having the star is the only way you can survive the lightning hit. And that gives you a huge advantage because you're racing at normal speed and everyone on the track gets knocked down for when they get shrunk, like, that could have been a huge boost to our placing. But instead, oh, you jerk. Oh, at least he, like, slammed into the bus right away again. Oh, with the top <laughs> Get off the railing. Oh, man. All right, well, I think our Grand Prix expeditions are definitely over after this race. We've done so poorly that there's, we went from, like, literally a flawless victory to like a almost flawless victory to now we have like the worst we're doing worse than we ever dreamed possible um so at least we've seen a range of play styles i'll just continually boost here boom he's like yeah seventh place oh he's crying sorry he he knows he sucks um it was totally his fault had nothing to do with me i swear all right, so we failed at the Flower Cup. Our rank is E. Is that an F? Uh, now try for a trophy. Yeah, nah. All right, we've seen some Grand Prix. We, again, try and trials and versus. They're just sort of racing individual levels. Oh, what the heck is missions? Let's try battle first. And we'll take a real quick look at missions at the end, maybe. Burst your opponent's balloons? Well, um, if your inflated balloons burst, you lose. Um, or sunshine runners collect more shines than anyone else steal opponent shines to add to your total Let's go with the classic balloon battle man. That's what I grew up on And uh, let's be Luigi. Why not? Okay, I'm Luigi uh, normal uh, Random well, Let's choose rules uh, I don't know free team no teams 
Just a free for all, man. And wait, you can rate. You can. One of the maps is a Nintendo DS. Is that a joke? Uh, house, the shore, Tart Top, Block Fort, or Pipe Plaza. I'm curious to race on it. I'm curious to play on the DS on a DS. Let's start with the shore though, again, because I like the beach levels in Mario Kart. And here we go, Palm Shore. I was kind of hoping they'd have the battle arenas from the classic, like the Super Nintendo and stuff, but I will take this. Two, one, go! All right, so do we have five balloons or one, by the way? We're gonna go ahead and steal his ghost. I don't know what happened there. Let's get some items. Oh, here we go. Red shell time, baby. Oh, <laughs> wait, but I fell off the course. What, what, what? Wait, what? What the hell just happened there? Hold on, hold on, we gotta do that again. Did I lose because I fell off the course? I had just got a red shell. Okay, so don't go into the ocean. Apparently Luigi will drown. Okay, let's do this again. Okay. And the radar, by the way, now is super helpful. Having this radar is very handy when it comes to seeing your opponents. Wait, why do I have a red shell on me? What, or a red balloon? What What the heck just happened? I'm very confused. Oh, I'm going so slow. Okay, we got a red shell, boom. Oh yeah, we got somebody. Okay, I, I don't know why I only have one balloon. I, I, I don't get it. Like I have a green and a red one. Did I steal Mario's balloon? What the heck happened? Okay, we're gonna like start dropping some balloons or some uh, bananas there. Drop that thing. They're probably gonna come back to haunt me and kill me. Okay, here's a red shell. Boom! Get Bowser. And right, I can't tell. Oh look, everyone! You can see everyone's health down at the bottom. That's handy. So, oh, was that me? Did I get myself with my own? Damn it! <laughs> okay. Oh God. Okay, red shell time for you, whomever you are. Who did we hit? I don't even know. Okay, so like, I only have one balloon. How do I put more out? No, not that. Okay, let's just continually kill people here. Oh God, is that a red shell flying around? Ah, oh. wait, why did we lose? I lost again. Okay, try this one more time. We're, we're, we're going back to the shore. Actually, no, forget that. Let's uh, let's go to Tart Top here. So I have like five balloons in the upper right corner, but what does that do? I don't understand. Like, see, it put one balloon out. How do I put more out? Well, let's try all the buttons here. Oh, you can inflate them? Oh my God. Huh, so like, why would you just not? Oh, when you get damaged. You want to like, and you can only have three active at a time. I got gotcha. you. Okay, and so there goes one. So it's like now I want to inflate another one. Huh? Well, that is a weird mechanic. So you do have extra hit points, but if somebody hits you, wham, bam, bam, you're just dead. Okay. Um, where are the power up things, by the way? Are they like up here? Whoa! That's kind of cool. This is like Wreck It Ralph with the uh, like Candyland stuff. Let's go get another power up. We we missed them all. Let's hop around here and try this sucker again. Kablam! That's kind of cool. Did, did we not get anything? What happened? It's it's hard to like actually get power ups in this though. Okay, that one sucks. Oh, we lost a balloon again. Okay, hold on. Inflate. There we go. Okay, so now we have no more extra hit points. At least we figured that out. I was playing this on hard mode where I only had like one hit. Boom, eat it, Peach or whomever. So I guess there is strategy here, like you could look for people who only have a couple balloons and you could just sort of like hunt them down, prevent them from being able to pause and inflate um, or else they'll die. Um, I think for me, it's just a war of attrition. I'm just literally gonna try and continually get red shells and pummel the computer opponents until there's a very few of them left. Boom. Let's see what we got here. Mushroom. Like, that's just so useless in battle mode, the mushrooms. 
Um, oh, I think I landed on my own green shell. Damn it. All right, we fired a red one off into a crowd of people. I don't really care who I hit as long as I'm hitting people. As long as somebody's dying. Okay, it turns out I don't actually like this map because this map, it's, it's very brutal to try and get stuff. Oh, my God. Ah! Oh, I thought that green shell might actually hit someone. Oh, God, it's kind of coming back to hit me, though. <laughs> I think the battle arenas in, su in the Super Nintendo version, maybe I'm biased, but I feel like like this one is not great in my opinion. It's just like a chaotic free-for-all. I like the sort of, the fact that in, in the Super Nintendo version, it was like actually an arena. Like there's no walls here. It's just like a big open pit. Like when you get a green shell or a red shell, you just fire it and it will hit somebody, you know? Whereas in the Super Nintendo one, you actually had to, you could like dodge around walls and stuff. You could use the, uh, the feather. You could use the feather to, like, hop over walls, um, which is kind of cool. Oh, that guy. Oh, Yoshi only has one balloon left. We should totally pick on Yoshi, that punk, that punk dinosaur. Um, okay. Uh, here we go. Oh, I think we might have killed someone. Yes, we did! I think we killed Wario? Yes, we did! Screw Wario. He sucks, man. It's, uh, oh, man. Like, this guy only has one, too. Um, oh, God, where is he? Just fire some shells that way. Let uh, randomness take care of people. Okay. Like, it's really hard to hunt people in this because they're just ping-ponging all over the place. Oh, we missed, we missed the power-ups. Okay, we hop around. So, yeah, did we get shrunk down, by the way? Like, Honey, I Shrunk the Kid style? Like, we're, we're a bunch of go-kart racers racing on a giant cake. What happened? What's the backstory here? Kind of curious. Hey, two people have been knocked out. Yoshi and Wario. Oh, God. See, now we just want to, like, bump into people now that we have this going on. Oh, like that guy? Or... Come on, Bowser. Boom! I think we got him, too. It's awesome. Okay. Out of hell with it. Get another power-up going here. Keep him going. Give me something good. Ugh. Not the... Oh, God. All right, what do we got going on here? Ugh, this again. See, when you're doing too good, they give you crap items. Um, oh god, there's there's just shells and stuff bouncing all over the place now, which is which is is kind of fun, but doesn't bode well for our strategy of winning. You know, we have successfully waited everyone out. There was a point in this match where we were dead last because. We only had two balloons and everyone else had more than that. But now we're at a point where, like, we're literally in second place. Oh, Bowser, you took my power up, dude. I'm going to kill you once I get a red shell. The computer has not been, like, red shelling me all that much. Maybe they're not getting red shells. I don't know. But, I mean, the idea of having, like, several opponents. So that's another thing. Like, in the Super Nintendo uh, version, battle mode was way more stressful because it was, like, one-on-one. -on -one. Um, whereas this is like, there's like eight people. You can kind of like hide in the crowd, you know, like, uh, oh, there you go, Mario. Who's, who's player two now, bitch? Luigi's player one now, Mario. Um, but you can kind of hide in the anonymity of the crowd, damn it. Now we, now Toad's, now, now Toad's player one. Um, cause when there's like eight other opponents, it's like, as long as you're not directly in the path of like one of the computer players, you can just sort of like hide in the corner and let them kill each other. Um, oh, Toad has got a red shell. Shoot. Oh, we just killed Mario. Luigi literally committed fa fratricide. I like it. Um, I do like how you can also see the, um, yes. Oh, and we have the red shell. Now's the time. I like how you can see the, uh, things that the opponents have. Oh my god, it's down to me and Toad. We, we are like the second players for life. Like, oh my God, we got three red shells. Toad, where are you, man? It's it's over, man. Just give up. There's no way you can survive this. Oh, he's right behind us too. I'm using my radar now. Come on, Toad. Come on. He knows he's coming. He knows it. Oh, did he? Oh, okay, I was gonna say, how did he survive? I fired two at him. Yes, Luigi's number one now. Now Luigi's player one. All right, let's uh, let's try a different course here. Um, that's just a scary house. The beach is cool. Uh, I didn't really care for this one too much. Um, let's try... Oh, the block fort it would have walls. Okay, we'll try the block fort and then we'll try on the Nintendo DS and see how that goes. Um, 
So that's interesting. And actually, you know what? I, I want to I want to go go out of this and turn down the number of computer players. So hold on here. Can we quit? We will come back to this single player battle. Um what shine runners? Collect more shines than anyone else. Um those with less shines get booted over time. Yeah, well, let's give it a shot, why not? Um we'll go with Luigi. And wait, how do whoa, 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 wait. How do I turn down the number of computer opponents? Go back, go back. Is there any way to do this? Huh. Oh, that that kind of sucks actually. Like it's cool that they give you bots. It's cool that they give you bots, but then at the same time, like, can we have fewer bots, please? Like, it'd be cool to play a game with, like, it'd be cool to play one mano a mano, you know, like, one on one. That'd be kind of, it would be like a throwback to Super Nintendo. Anyway, whatever, this one, I like this one because it's sort of like, uh, um, you know, there's like walls and stuff. Let's go ahead. Oh, yeah, everyone wanted that, but I got it. Feels good, man. Okay, so I guess in this one, you're just trying to hold on to these, like, shine points or whatever. And whoever has the most kind of wins. So we're just going to go around the track collecting them. Um, okay, I think those ones, damn it, got collected. Okay, we're, we're going to have to start killing people for these shine point things. Um, there's a lot of people who have zero, which is nice. It's nice to know that other people suck. Oh, you jerk. Okay, I, I want, you know what I want is the three red shells. Oh God, I knocked a shine point out of myself. Wait, so what does that mean? Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Or there's a shine point. I don't know if it's the one that I lost, but there's one. That sucked. Oh, I had a red shell, damn it. So I want the three red shells because they're simultaneously defense and offense, you know? It's like, it's like the best case scenario. Um, holy crap, a whole, like half, half the players are just gone. They just, everyone got eliminated. Yikes. So they were not joking with, uh, with people with low shine points getting eliminated. So we should really just hunt for these like shine things. Um, we have the most. So it's gonna come down to me and, me and uh, Wario here. Like I haven't done anything and we're down to like two players. Let's see here. Where Where is Wario? <laughs> I got my wish of a mano a mano match, but now I can't find the guy. Oh, he's like up there. You see him on the radar? And I have a red shell, so I can totally steal his thing. Come on, buddy. I'm, I'm stalking you, Wario. I'm the cyber stalker. Oh, we both have four. What's gonna happen? Oh, we both, we both red shelled the other guy. Ugh. Come on, yes. Yes! Oh man, we stole his star. All right, see ya, buddy. <laughs> Good luck catching me on this like long, sophisticated map. That is hilarious. We oh no, didn't want to come down to the ground level. So I guess if you want to play keep away, you just go up high and like he can't even get to me. This map is so big. Okay, I feel like that was okay, but I think I think certain levels are good for the star thing, but certain levels aren't. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to... Yeah, you know what, this, this video's been going on long enough. I was like, maybe we'll go back in and we'll do a balloon battle on that same match. But whatever, we get the idea. Let's uh, let's do one of Princess Peach, by the way. Let's, uh, let's do the shine battle on the Nintendo DS and see what that's like. Cause that's like a big open arena. There'll be way more chance to like get your shine stolen and stuff. So here we go. Two, one, go! Fast start, and we got the first shine. All right, it is on. Um, we want the second one too. Uh, Luigi! Oh, we got three. We got four. Oh my God, we we're just hogging them all. Here's we got the fifth one. <laughs> is there any left for anyone else? Oh, they took one of ours. That's okay. We got six. Oh, we'll just keep going, man. I could just keep going all day. How many? Uh, is there any left? Oh no, I lost one. Where did it go? Went over here. It's okay. I will take it back. Suckers! 
All right, everyone, now we just play Keep Away. And like, literally everyone's gonna die. I think Bowser has one and like Mario has one. That's it. Oh, there's a computer player who has one. Not for long! Give me your shine! Oh, where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, someone else took it, damn it. <laughs> All right, so like half the players get wiped out. It's like they got snapped off the face of the earth like in uh, Avengers. The snapping happened and the rich got to live, people. All right, oh my god. Like if we just do nothing at this point, I have, I have six of these things to two and one. Like I'm just going to win. If I do absolutely nothing here. If I just hide away from being damaged. Oh yeah. And I think I just killed them both. <laughs> oh, Bowser had two and I hit him. So now he had one and Luigi had one, which means they were both on the bottom rungs and we won. Oh, that is, that is ridiculous. Okay, we have a little bit of time. Let's, uh, let's do one battle mode, a normal one. We'll do it as Peach. We'll do it in that fort level so that we can have like a real, this is the, the most similar to the Super Nintendo map I was talking about that you've got, where there's like walls and stuff. So it's like you can have strategy and you can like hide and stuff. So it's interesting how like some of these maps are just like big open arenas and other ones really are not. So, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> There's just I just see a whole bunch of people in front of us like shooting turtle shells and stuff while we're just sitting there inflating our things and I figure maybe I should oh god there's like bombs being tossed okay we gotta get those three red shells and then we're just gonna hide somewhere it's our strategy we're gonna let them let the fools kill each other we're gonna try and like stay up here oh god oh did I hit somebody I think I feel like I hit somebody can you go in reverse in Mario Kart? I don't think you can. You can hop around. Ah, there we go. Oh God, that guy's trying to kill me. Ridiculous. Do you guys, when uh, when it's going through the little like uh, slot machine thing of like items being selected, I'm always tapping the item use button. I kind of feel like when you do that, you can like make the item uh, like slot machine thing uh, stop like here right now. Like, I will start tapping the item thing. It's just an instinct. I don't know if it actually does anything or not, but uh, but I'm always always doing that. Um, I feel like it does make it stop, though. Like, I don't know. Ugh, mushroom. Most useless of all the items. Whee! All right, let's see what we got over here. So I guess things like the bullet bill and the lightning don't exist in battle mode. Because, I mean, bullet bill, where would the bullet bill even take you? I think bullet bill would be confused. Um, let's just start firing green shells down at everyone. Eat a green shell, buddy! All right. I, I literally haven't, not only have I not seen a red turtle shell, I don't think I've hit anyone with a green turtle shell this entire match. Just been hanging out up here like a coward. Kaboom! Those bombs, oh God. Those bombs are hard to hit people with. Should we go down into the, oh, here, eat one Mario. <laughs> My love. Princess Peach is like, here, you Italian bastard. I want a divorce. Um, oh god. Oh no, he took my red shell! Ah, oh, I finally got another red shell, and then easy come, easy go. Ooh, the star would be handy. Just gonna keep firing green shells. I assume that when you fire green shells, they, uh, they actually do, like, ping pong down into the lower levels, and then just bounce around until they kill someone. Um, I, you know, I have my suspicions that in all Mario Kart games, the green shells, oh god, so like slowly just get taken off the map. Because like, in reality, there's eight people, we're probably, like every fourth item is a green shell, and if we're all just firing them, shouldn't there be green shells bouncing everywhere by now? I have a feeling that green shells, when you're not looking at them, some of them just disappear. Um, I wish that they would all, st oh, damn it, I got tricked. I wish they would just all stick around because it's kind of fun when, it'd be kind of fun if the map, if, you know, so too many people were doing good. Oh my God, I fell for it again. If too many people were doing good, uh, not getting hit by stuff, then eventually the green shells would just uh, accumulate. Ah, oh, damn it. And there'd just be so many of them that they would just, uh, you know, they would, eventually the map would be so dangerous that people would just start dying randomly. That is what I wish for Mario Kart. Okay, I guess we're just gonna, Okay, I just guess we're just gonna hang around the outskirts here then. Oh my god, with the stupid 
the 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 whatever you call it, Squidsworth dude who squirts ink in your face. Um, as soon as I get an item that allows me to fight other people, I will get in the mix. Ooh, a red shell. All right, here we go. Ah, oh, damn it! Ah, oh, damn it! Not only did I miss the guy, then I ran over what I'm pretty sure is my own banana peel. This is a disaster of epic proportions. Okay. Ah! I was trying to, like, drive in front of him and, like, waste a bunch of banana peels and, like, hopefully he'd, like, hit one. Oh, things are exploding. All right, now we can... Now we're ready to bump into people. Oh, shoot. I think I just threw one of my shells away. Okay, let's find someone here. Who wants a piece of peach, man? Hey, Mario and Yoshi are dead. Like, just straight up dead. Oh, there's somebody. All right, we're gonna chase this guy down. Let's see if we can make this happen. Who is it? I don't, it's the orange player. What is that, Toad? Should we shoot mushroom? shoot the turtle shells at him? Oh, you dick, oh, and they stole my mushroom. All right, Toad, you little bastard. Oh, we missed, damn it. All right. So it's, it's funny like how fast this match ended in the other game mode and like how slow it's going now. Like most of the time I just can't even find people to shoot. Um, that was a trap. That one there's a trap. Boom, eat it toad. That one got ya. I saw that up close. All right, let's find somebody else. I want this course to be littered in green turtle shells, but I have a feeling it just ain't gonna happen. Oh, Luigi. Saw you coming on the radar, man. All right, let's go for this item here. Whee! And off we go. Ugh. These stupid trap items. Oh, we got a red shell. We got a red shell. Okay, we're in the game. All right. We need to find someone. We could end Toad's... Ex oh, Toad has a red shell, too, so it's kind of like a dangerous... A uh, dangerous match. I am not going to hunt down Toad, actually, as it turns out. I'm gonna get away from the guy. Okay, we want Luigi. Where's Where's Luigi? We gotta bring that guy down. There he is. All right, Luigi. You come down to me, bro. Broseph. Where is he going? Uh, Wario just got taken out. Okay, here's, here's Luigi. We're coming. I'm, like, totally, like, radar hunting this guy. Okay, he's on the other side. Oh God, where did he go? Where did he go? Luigi, where are you, man? Seriously, where did Luigi go? Oh, he's he's behind us. Oh, and he's got a red shell, too. Ah, oh, there he is. We're so close. Wait, where did he go? Oh! <laughs> Luigi! Boom! Oh, you're kidding me! My red shell missed! God damn it. Oh, we got another one. We got one more chance. All right, time to end. Oh, and Luigi has a red shell, too. Okay, but he is down here. Radar hunting people is actually a little tricky in this game. Oh, but it's over, Luigi! It's over! Yes. Oh, we got another one! Oh, but he was invincible! Damn it. Okay, let's just chase Luigi around. Oh, we got another one! Okay. There you go, Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> Princess Peach has uh, become very aggressive against you, Brett, buddy. You did help save her multiple times in her life from Bowser, but she does not care because, you know what, you're in her way. You are in her way. Oh, Luigi, yes! <laughs> All right, Luigi, where'd you go? Where'd you go? I got a green shell. This one takes, this is like a manually aimed shell. This one takes skill, man. Oh, we totally missed. I yeah, just hope my green shell. Oh shoot, I got a red shell again. My my tactic of tapping the shoot button to like slow down my slot machine thing is probably a bad strategy in the end because I'm wasting I'm wasting shells. Oh god. Oh, we got the invincibility. All right. Whose career do we want to end? Oh, we want to end Luigi's, man. Luigi, you're done. <laughs> man, we actually hunted and killed a Mario brother. That, that is that is awesome. We're like the predator in princess form, which is pretty cool, actually. All right. What do we got now? Three bananas? Don't mind if I do. Oh, I thought the, I thought Wario was totally going to drive into them. Let's see what we got here. Um, pff, mushroom. Garbage. 
the garbage of power-ups. At least in this in this mode. We're not trying to race. Like, what does the mushroom do for you? This this game really needs the, the Super Mario World uh, like feather to allow you to jump. They had in Super Nintendo because yeah, it just seems like you totally need it. Um, like like in this level, like you could use the the feather whatever to jump up to higher platforms and stuff. That would actually be very useful. That's how you could evade the red shells. Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> I had a red shell and he just killed himself. I like to think a green shell got him off screen. It was an off screen death. Boom, we did it. All right. One last thing to investigate in this game is the missions. Okay, I have no idea what these things are, but let's give it a try. Drive through all five numbered gates in order, collect all 15 coins, destroy 10 item boxes. What the heck? And then what is the one in the middle? Okay, let's just try one or two of these and see. So drive through all five numbered gates in order. Okay, three, two, one, go! Number one! Number two! Are you joking? This is so easy. Number three! This, this is a mission? They're like, we have a mission for you, Mario. It's called drive through a couple of gates. Five, exactly. And... We did it with three stars. We're heroes. Okay, now we're on to the next one. Collect 15 coins. Let's see how fast we can do this because I'm curious about the thing in the middle. I think it's a boss. I think if I remember correctly, um, these missions, you have to like do these, uh, you know, like challenges and the tracks and then it will like unlock a boss. And I kind of want to see like, what is a boss in this game even like? There we go, we did it! One star, but that's okay. We drove very slowly and cautiously, but we had to get all the the, the, the coins. Sorry, 10 item boxes. All right, here we go. Uh, off to more adventure. And go! Um, wait, what What was it? 10, oh, 10 item boxes. I, I, I forgot our mission for a second, but then I noticed the, the 10. Okay, let's do this. See, the mushrooms are actually not handy here. Oh God, did we miss one? No, we didn't. Okay, and there's one here. Thankfully, these missions are pretty straightforward. And one more. Boom, mission complete. Yes, 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 yes. Go, Yoshi. Go, Yoshi, go. All right, a couple more missions here. Get the star and use it to hit Five cheap cheeps. All right, things are getting more complicated. Uh, five cheap cheeps, eh? Okay, one. Oh no! Go go go! We gotta we gotta hit all five of these guys. Do you get multiple shots of this? Okay, so I guess you have like an infinite amount of time. All right, let's do this. First we, okay, we missed that guy. We'll come back for that guy. We missed that guy. We hit that guy. <laughs> oh God. This is gonna be a slow process here. At least they just let you keep going. Three, four, five. Boom. It only took us like <laughs> rank B. We don't, not only do we not even get any stars, but we didn't get an A. We're into the B level. Drive through the six numbered gates in order. Oh, this is a little more tricky because you actually... Okay, I dig it. Okay, so there's one. So now we gotta look for two. What is this? Two. Now we gotta look for three. There's three. And we got four. All right, we can count. We have bas basic arithmetic skills. This is kind of like the Rainbow Road of battle arenas because there's like no walls. You can just fall off uh, to your own demise. Yeah, that's interesting. Drive back out of the mansion backwards. Whoa. Actually, that is kind of cool. One. This is kind of like NES Remix. Wait, how do you go backwards? Oh, like this. But you. I didn't know there was a reverse in Mario Kart. That's crazy. All right. Like, that, remember when I was, like, hopping around on top of the, the like, uh, fort trying to get the power up with Princess Peach? And I was like, oh, if only there was a reverse. Apparently there is. Apparently there is. This is how Luigi drives his uh, Mario Kart. 
when he doesn't want to put any miles on it. He just drives it in reverse so that Mario doesn't know that Luigi was driving his cart. Otherwise, Mario will, uh, will assault him physically for touching his stuff. Mario is very possessive. All right, 20 coins. Here we go. I think we can do this. Do we want the power up? I guess we want it. It's probably a mushroom, and it's just gonna make. See, like if you were trying to do this fast, you could like use the mushroom right now and like speed up. But I'm I'm trying. Oh, damn it! I'm just trying not to mess up like I did right there. Can we get this coin? There we go. Like the the mushrooms are only gonna make me do worse, folks. Who are we kidding? Ah, let's just use one. <laughs> Why not? Live life on the edge. Oh, we missed another one. Donkey Kong, you suck. Now we have to use the mushrooms to make up our time. Oh no! Five, four, three, two, mushroom! <laughs> Damn. Okay, there is a time limit on these. We gotta see. Our grades are slowly slipping in Mario Kart School. Perform four, four power slide turbo boosts. Oh my god, I don't even know how to do one. Okay, hold on, I gotta look this up. Okay. When you come to a turn, press and hold the R button. At the same time, press left or right D-pad buttons back and forth. We're gonna give this a shot. I don't know if I know how to do this. Okay, so you hop. Okay, that did not work. Let's try this again. To do it at a turn. Apparently, if you're good enough at this and on the straightaways, you can like zigzag back and forth. Um, oh, I gotta hold the R button. I keep letting it go. Okay. And boom. There's one. It was very sloppy, but we did it. Try it again. That didn't work. Okay, here we go. There we go. Okay, that didn't work either. Maybe just hold it instead of wiggling it back and forth. Mission failed. <laughs> oh, we actually failed a mission. Okay, bear with me, guys. Um... This is the one part of Mario Kart that I kind of don't know how to do. It's it's very sad. It's very sad. I don't know why I haven't figured this out at this point in my life. The power sliding. There we go. That was nothing. Okay, I guess you do got to wiggle the thing back and forth. Let's try this. It's all about getting the feel for it down. Ugh, and I hit the pipe. There we go. Oh, we, we got one. Huh, I guess you can, we don't need to do it at the turn. You can just do it like that. Hold on, let's, let's just practice this for a second. Okay, this is really not working. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're totally gonna run out of time here. There's two. All right, we got two. Okay, so we, we made it two and we were like, Wasted tons of time. I, I really want to get to this boss. Let's give this a shot. But yeah, apparently, um, you know, speaking of people who are really good at Mario Kart, um, oh god, we missed one. If uh, if you're really good at this game, then on the straightaways, apparently, you can just like do these like power slides. Damn it! Okay, hold on. Let's retry this. Um, and you can just get insane speed boost because you're just constantly like power breaking. Um, oh my god, that failed. Okay, hold on, let's do this. Turn around, try this again. Oh, son of a bitch, we're not going nearly fast enough. Uh, 29, 28, 27, there's no way this is gonna work. Oh, you, oh, I have to hold the thing. That's why it's not working, oh my god. Disaster! Okay, we got one. Here we go. This is like surprisingly hard for me. There we go, we got two. All right, here we go. For three. Yes, ah, oh, come on. Oh, okay, we got three. We just need one more, man. One more. Do it, Mario, do it. Yeah, power boost. Oh yeah, what, oh. I didn't let go of the power. I wanted to power boost across the finish line. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, pro tip. When you're in your last power boost, don't get showy about it. Just uh, just end it, man. Okay, here, here it is, the last one again. Just gotta try and not mess it up. 
Yes, all right, let's actually let it go this time. Boom, mission complete. With half a second left to spare. Rank C, yeah, well, whatever. All right, let's see what this boss is. Use mushrooms to crash into Big Bully and knock him off the stage. Very interesting. Huh. So now it's an actual boss in Mario Kart. I didn't know such a thing existed. One. Okay, where do I get the mushrooms from? Oh, God! He's trying to kill me! Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. No, leave me alone, dude! <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh, okay. Here we go. Here's, uh... Oh, my God. Three mushrooms. Where is this guy? Okay, boom! Then we go... Boom! Oh, we missed them. Interesting. Okay, let's try and get these. Oh, shoot, I keep wasting one. All right, here we go. Where's Big Bully? He's guarding the mushrooms. Okay, we need, we need more mushrooms. Where's this guy? One, two, three. Oh, God, you need more than that to kill this guy? Okay, so how do we do this? Oh, maybe... Yes! Oh, he's so close! My god. Okay. Boom, boom. Oh, god! <laughs> Into the water. There's gotta be a strategy here that I'm missing. One, two, three. Just get in the water, dude! Yeah, we did it! <laughs> we pushed him off without a mushroom at the end. Eat it. Now we watch him drown slowly. And it's okay, because he's a bully. That's cool. So then there's, like, obviously different missions. Um, and then different bosses. Cool! Uh, you know what? I, this is a feature I never knew of. Um, I always like the battle mode. Again, racing is fine in Mario Kart, and I do like the items and stuff like that. But generally, I always prefer battle because it was more strategic, and I kind of like the, like, hunting aspect of it. Missions is kind of a cool add-on. I never knew about this in any of the Mario Karts. That's pretty cool. Um, anyway, we should probably wrap up. The video's getting quite long here, but Mario Kart for the DS. I mean, what can I say about this game? It is considered one of the best Mario Kart games ever made. Certainly at the time, it was considered perhaps the best Mario Kart. It had, you know, bots and multiplayer and Wi-Fi capabilities. Um, it did have very simple Wi-Fi capabilities. Like, you needed the dreaded Nintendo friend code to, like, play with friends and stuff. And it was very, like, limited... Um, you know, like, Nintendo's always kind of been behind in, in its online functionality in terms of user interface and all that stuff. Um, in fact, I do remember reading once that uh, Nintendo developers didn't even know what Xbox Live was like. Like, they had never tried it. Um, and this was back in the era of, like, the Wii U. Like, it's astonishing how out of touch Nintendo can be in weird, like, areas. Yet at the same time, like, they make great games, so it's like, you know, um, maybe there is something to being apart from all the other uh, console makers. Um, but definitely one area it's always showed is their online functionality. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, it did have online functionality, which is great. There were some limits to it, but I think overall Mario Kart DS here, you know, shouldn't be overshadowed by little issues like that. It is a terrific game. I think it holds up even today. Nintendo graphics have a way of holding up over time because they're cartoony to begin with. So with modern hardware, they would still look cartoony. So it kind of doesn't matter that the polygons are kind of chunky and so on. I think it's a great game. I never really played Mario Kart DS before, but I'm happy I did. I think this is a must play um, in my own opinion. I think if you like any, if you are a Mario Kart fan in any small way, you will have some fun here. And of all the Mario Karts, it's definitely up there with uh, ones that I would probably recommend to people. So there you go. What do you guys think of Mario Kart DS here? Is it a game that you yourselves grew up with? Uh, is it a game you, you loved and cherished? Is it a game you never really played and maybe you're interested today? Or are you just not into Mario Kart for some reason? And especially this game looks like it, you know it's going to put you off for some reason. Whatever the case may be, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, as always, guys, whatever you think of the game today, hopefully uh, you enjoyed checking it out with me. Hopefully uh, we had some fun today. If that is the case, don't forget to like the video. Um, that is one way you can definitely support me. Um, just clicking that little like button, man. It uh, it actually really makes a difference. And of course, sharing this video with all your friends and family and blah, 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 blah. Um, we have a bunch of great games lined up for the rest of 2019, guys. So I'm really psyched that the 1001 series is back. Not that I didn't have fun over the break, of course. We played a lot of good games then, too. But uh, the 1001 series... 
Um, it's always been sort of the centerpiece of my channel. So I'm looking forward to, to trying more games from the book and all that jazz. And I've got some good ones lined up that are coming up soon. So I hope you guys will tune back in again soon. All right, guys, until next time, you all take care of yourselves. Have fun playing those sweet, sweet retro games. And remember, you can always have tons of fun with games that aren't new releases. You don't have to play games that came out yesterday. Games that are 15 years old, like this one, can still be just as fun as a modern game. So it's my little uh, retro game PSA for the day. Anyway, take care of yourselves, and uh, peace. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, ah, damn it. Disaster.